Dream. Yeah, this one, uh, this was actually the first song that Alessandro sent me. It's the first song I wrote lyrics to, melodies to, and immediately, as soon as I heard that pulse, that high energy, that quick tempo kind of rock thing, I knew we were onto something. I knew we were gonna be uh, a match made in heaven in writing this record. What amazes me is that everything was very natural. It seemed like I knew what to write to inspire him and, and vice versa. Then developed into something unique. Wide Awake in My Dreamland. This was, uh, again, this is before I had the album title and even before I had the title for this song. It sounds like a dream. It sounds like a, a dream that could be a nightmare or a nightmare that could be a dream. It's kind of the, the double entendre of that. So the song just kind of put me in an Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. And again, this is before the pandemic. Who would have thought that the world would be living this reality? So in this sense, I am wide awake, but I'm actually dreaming, or is it the other way around? Desperate is the album closer. It's not the last song because it's one of the weakest. It's the last song because it's one of the strongest, and I'll tell you why. A lot of people through the years love my time with uh, with Ingve Malmsteen. So when I first heard it, it really it was a throwback to kind of I'm a Viking and that whole thing, that whole time I did with Ingve. Why not? Why not incorporate this because it does kind of nod into my career and my past. Desperate. All in all, Wide Awake in My Dreamland, it's got to be one of my favorite albums ever. First time I'm working with Alessandro, luckily I had my, my own anchors in Edu Cominato and of course with August and having a newcomer like Fabrizio to round it all off, it truly turned into something magical, it's something that I, I absolutely could not have done without Alessandro. This is only a prerequisite of things to come. Oh, you're 